something in black chiffon with a lot of big beautiful beads and a big feather headdress, you know, like Cher. But instead, we had to get dressed for school, which is only fair since today is what, Sarah? Today is what, Sarah? Sarah! <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome to Girl Talk's TV debut. I was hoping... Sarah, I just did all that. You're supposed to tell everyone that this is a new show and it's only for girls. But even if we do let some boys on it, it's only because they're not a geek. And every day we've got a different show. And today is the first show, and it's all about school. I knew that. I knew that. Today is our school show. School. One moment. What are you doing, Sarah? Well, I've kind of got this homework and music class, and, well, it's not exactly done. Well, how not exactly done is it? Well, not exactly, just almost not completely. You see, I had to analyze the lyrics to the song and interpret them. Okay, look, why don't you just go ahead and read us the lyrics and then maybe we can help you out. Okay, but you see, the, 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 the... Feel the power. You see the energy coming up, coming on strong. The future only belongs to the future itself, in the hands of itself. And the future is electric youth. You get this? Oh, you're right, that's a toughie. But luckily for you, I've just the people who can shed some light on this musical subject. The All Boy Girl Talk Band! Yeah! Okay, um, my theory is that Miss Gibson is basing these lyrics on her life experiences and that youth should be taken seriously for it is the key to the future. Rod? No, I'm, I'm sorry, Brad. I'll, I'll have to disagree with you on that one. Ooh. I feel that this song entitled The Electric Youth is just another tool warning us not to take the radio into the bathtub with us. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks, guys, but I think I can handle this myself now. Actually, that's Brad and Rod. When we heard that there were going to be boys on the show, Sarah and I were like, no way! This is girl talk. But you know, Russ, they are pretty cute, and they're not as gross as most boys we know. And... <laughs> Neat trick, huh? Uh-uh. Well, anyway, and now a girl whose favorite subject is boys' gym class, and she once said while dissecting a frog. This would be a lot easier if this were my brother. <laughs> All the way from Hollywood, Soleil Moonfry! <laughs> I am so happy that I am here today. Especially, I'm very happy that it's school day. I think my favorite part of school is talking to my friends, especially the boys. Ooh. Well, anyway, speaking of boys, we'll be right back with an incredibly gorgeous guy and five of the hottest musicians in town, New Kids on the Block. <laughs> the world is my classroom by Maggie. A lot of older kids say they can't wait to see the world, but I say, why wait? I see the world from the back of my classroom. Over there, that's Big Pen. Grand Canyon, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, whoa, the Statue of Liberty, and right here in his little brown paper bag, aha, just as I thought, turkey, and look, Greece. Girl Talk will be right back. And now, more Girl Talk. Hollywood. 
Yeah. Well, I used to go to school on the set for about three hours a day, and I really miss my old friends. So I worked out a schedule so that I could go to my normal school and see my friends, and then I could come back to the set, and then it worked out great, and that's, then it was fun. That's cool. really great. Well, I thought since today's the school show and we all love school, let's start today's Give Me Five list. The five things we love about school. You're getting like so sentimental about school, Sarah. Give me five. Number five, the three minutes in between classes. Yeah, that's good. Number four, any teacher who gives me an A. We yeah. love those A's, right? Yeah, Number three, any teacher who gives me an A minus. Yeah. Number two, a substitute teacher for Spanish who only speaks English. Yeah. And the number one thing we love about school is sitting next to Neil Tardio pretending he really likes me. Now the five things we hate about school. Homework that takes longer than a commercial break to do. Number four, any teacher who says, I hope you have enough gum for the whole class. Number three, science projects that involve mutilating slimy green things that used to hop around on lily pads. Oh! Number two, when the bell rings and some kid yells out, Yo, you forgot to give us homework. And number one, getting called on when I'm in the middle pretending that Neil Tardio really likes me. Oh, hold on, hold ahead. on, you guys. Wait one second. Okay, you guys. Okay. There is somebody incredibly amazing behind this door. I didn't want to tell you who he was before because I was scared that you would get too excited and go wacko on me. Who is it? Who is it? Who is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, calm down. Brian Robbins from Head of the Class. <laughs> so funny. You know I do your show, Pictionary. Now That's you're right. doing our show, Girl Talk. Oh, it's a cool little show so far. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm very comfortable. Are you? Yes, uh, well, since today our theme is school, you know, we have a lot of questions to ask you about head of the class. Can you guess what the first one is? Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, here. <laughs> What's the weirdest assignment a teacher ever gave you? In real life? Either real life. I had to take, you know when sometimes a teacher gives you an egg and you yeah. have to carry around the egg? Right. Like, and pretend it's your child and the egg. Well, I kind of boiled it and ate it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Anyway, let's go to our Girl Talk mall monitors to see what other girls have to say about the weirdest assignment a teacher ever gave them. It has 